Sorry to keep you waiting, Sam. The meeting with the assistant DA got pushed back, but I got us a 1 p.m. appointment for tomorrow. So we're good then? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you mean ahead of ourselves? We need to go over everything one more time, so I can be as prepared as possible when I present this deal to her tomorrow. Do we really have to? I'm afraid so. All right, all right. Take your time. I was supposed to meet my wife and some of her friends, but I was working late. I was trying to get caught up on some backdated paperwork at the office. We've been really short-staffed the last couple months, and most of the workload's fallen on me, with the rest of the employees being fired or quitting. What time did you get off work? Really late. 11.30, I think. In the statement you gave to the police, you said you arrived home just after midnight. That's right. I came home and found my wife lying on the kitchen floor. Her face was covered in blood. I could barely even see her eyes. And her pants. Her pants were pulled below her knees. This is hard, Sam, but I need to know everything. Take a moment if you... No, no. No, it's okay. I'm fine. I helped her up. I put her in my car and I drove to the hospital. Why didn't you call 911? The hospital was only five minutes away. I just wanted to get there as fast as possible. I asked her on the way there what happened, and she said she was out with some work friends, and they were just at a bar. And one of her ex-boyfriends, Brian Meadows, was there. And he was drunk, and he was just making a pass at her. She told him to leave her alone, but he just wouldn't stop. What happened after she left the bar? She said he must have followed her home. She opened up the front door, and he just hits her from behind with some rock from the garden. She comes to for a few seconds, and this fucking animal is just on top of her, raping her. She couldn't even move. Sam. Brian was found dead early next morning. Shot in the face with a handgun that ballistics matched back to you. That's right. I found out where he lived from one of the bar owners. Apparently, he's always in there hitting on every girl in sight. Showed up at his place about 5 a.m., knocked on the door, and when he answered it, I blew his fucking head off. I'm gonna level here with you, Sam. The DA is going for a first-degree murder charge. Four hours have passed from the discovery of your wife's attack to Brian's murder. They're saying there was a sufficient cooling-off period to warrant premeditation. What are you saying? You have a clean record. The last traffic ticket you got was back in high school. The DA might be willing to reduce the charge of voluntary manslaughter, but you have to plead temporary insanity. That's the deal we're going with here. I'm not insane, and that asshole got what he deserved. I'd do it all over again in a heartbeat. My only regret is not making him suffer before he died. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. That's right, you can't. But let's get this deal on the table first. You do four years minimum security with parole in two, and you get on with your life. Two years? Yeah. And you think that that's the best way? I do. Okay. Okay.